Labrador's life today. Hello? Hit. Hit. Hold on. Accelerators on the right. I think I'm in. Think I'm in. No, no, no. I take it he hasn't heard from Viv yet. Correct. Seems pretty upset. Good God, Holmes, how did you come up with that conclusion? Do you lads actually do this for a living or what? It's just a hobby, isn't it? Yeah, mate, I'm only trying to do it. Yes, I'm still here. Come on, straighten up, man. Well, when then? Yeah. Great, thank you so much. More joyous news, more kitchen units for Lizzie's. Right, waste of space number one, take waste of space number two, go and install a kitchen, will you? Hanlon's van's knackered. He can't deliver the units. Well, pick them up yourself. Initiative, Trevor. He wants cash up front. We're skint. We're more than skint. What about the down payment that Lizzie gave us? Gone. Had your cash? Gone. Disappeared. Just disappeared. So what about the units? Try the Trevor Charm Offensive. It's our last weapon. God help us. Oh, go. What? 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 Just bring her. Get her, good! Get it. James, when we first talked about this job, you wanted me in London because you said you needed me on site. No, James, wait! Viv, Mr. Purvis on two. Joe! Oh, damn, um, stall him, put him on hold. No, 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 don't, I I'll take it, I'll take it. J James, yeah, can I call you back? Oh, James, that simply is not true. She's just finishing another call, can I just put you on hold for a moment? No, it's okay, yeah, it wasn't important. Uh, just tell her around, will you? James, I'll call you straight back. Yeah. James? Bye. Joe? Joe? Wages? What wages? My last pay packet. Oh, come on, Nick, be fair. Fair? That's rich. You walked out on us, Claire. Do you remember? Your own family and you walked. And for what? For that long streak of misery, Trevor Purvis. Oh, and now you want a handout? God, you've got a bloody cheek. You owe me that money. Yeah, what about what you owe us? Loyalty, respect. Nick, this is embarrassing. Yeah, you're right, it is. You're embarrassing me. You think you're all grown up? Well, why don't you behave like it, little sister? Stop sponging off family. Leave me alone to get on with some work. Get it, mate. Now my patience has run out. I invoiced them two weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah. They just hold on a minute. Sorry, Sam. This is private. Go and play. That's a good boy. And Sam, shoes. But they're clean. You know the rules. No shoes in the house. <sighs> yes, sir. Uh, uh, I understand the uh, party in question. There was money left, right, and centre. Yeah. Purvis and Purvis. I think it's time for the bane of Sebastian, don't you? That's right. Joe Purvis. And I want him hammered. Oversleep, did you? Shouldn't you be at work? I'm just in the middle of a very acrimonious divorce case. I have a mountain of stuff to read. And anyway, the office is so dull. You mean you're skiving? Secretary should crack the whip. Poor Audrey's too busy falling for men called Barry. She's just been ditched by number four. 
Barry. The kitchen is going to be finished by the time Lizzie gets back, isn't it? Oh, Trevor's on the job. You know him. <sighs> totally dependable. Permission to come aboard? Trevor. Oh, sorry, I've just been topping onions. Right. What's all this? Emergency supplies. Oh, Trevor. Oh, look, I know you're skinned. It's now to be embarrassed about. Now, um, <laughs> that bag's for the freezer. And that one's uh, bathroom stuff. <laughs> you think of everything. <laughs> oh, we've had our first note. To whom it may concern. Is that really necessary? Next time we're overcome by a fit of lust, we must remember that sound carries over water. Uh, look, I'll go around and apologise, if you like. Oh, yeah, forget it. It isn't that that's got you all bothered, though, is it? No. <laughs> Nick, I'll bet, yeah? What's he said now? Nothing I haven't heard before. I'm a parasite, let the family down. I know I shouldn't speak badly of your own flesh and blood, but... <laughs> Feel free. He's a shit. Sam, this is a listed building, one of the first concrete houses in Britain. So why box? Don't be petulant. I've got people coming to take pictures of it for a magazine. Whoopee. Now, uh, bad news, I'm afraid, about the holiday. Something's come up. But you told Mum and everything. You said she was free to take the job in London, because we were going scuba diving. I have to go to Germany, Sam. It's business. It's not fair. Sam, Sam, many years ago, a wise man told me there's only one rule in life, just one. Three words long, and the words never change. Do you know what that iron rule is? Dad always cancels. Now, the rule is, it isn't fair, with the emphasis on isn't. It isn't fair, Sam. Life, business, love, any of it. It's a tough lesson, but the sooner you learn it, the better you cope. Come on, Tiger. I don't pay you to go to the bookies. It was a dead cert at six to one. I had to back it. It's like I didn't have a choice. Oh. I'm mad taking you on in the first place. Next con man out of prison, need me head examined. I mean, you do realise if you weren't a mate of Trevor's, you'd be out the door. Well, that's the point. Till he gets back, we were just hanging about anyway. Oh, that big box look busy. Yeah. Joe was on the wall pass. Well, something came up with Claire. <laughs> I believe it. Nick's had a right go at I'm going to have to have a word with him, sort something out. You don't sort problems out, Trevor. You create them. Where have you been? Well... Oh, I'm not interested. Not really. Not exactly lightweight, these, are they? Nick's had a real go at Claire. I'll have a go at you if you don't get your finger out, lad. There's no need for that sort of attitude. No need? Listen, Trevor. I've had you and this job up to here. You know, I wish I was taller, but if you push me, lad... Joe, I'm sorry that things didn't work out with you and Viv, but you taking it out on everybody else really isn't on! If my arms get any longer, I'm gonna be able to tie my laces standing up. Shift. Come on! Joe Purvis? Stick it on it. Simon. I'll, uh, I'll give Bill a hand with the rest. Contrary to popular opinion, I do work for a living and I haven't got all day. Look, it was a terrible thing to do. It was Tina's idea. It was a stupid lie. I'm sorry. It was, it was just a joke. No, 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 no. There's a difference between a joke and telling somebody that you're pregnant. Can we go for a drink? Just go home, Becky. Not into school, girls. Yeah. yeah. Well, obviously, we haven't spoke to our solicitor yet. Bastard! Used to, follow me. Trying to find Joe. 
Joe Purvis. Do you know him? Yeah, I know him. Is that him there? Yeah, that's the one. Okay, you two, you sort that out over there, all right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mr. Joe it. Purvis. Yeah. George Punk, bailiff. You're aware it's eight thousand pounds, Mr. Purvis. Eight grand. That's why we're here. Well, let us finish the school. That's two hundred and fifty grand. You'll get your eight grand plus interest. It's gone too far, Mr. Purvis. You know we tried. It's like being Christian in ancient Rome, isn't it? Huh? Awaiting the announcement of the emperor. Thumbs up, bow down. Didn't know you were an expert. Oh, I never miss a gladiator move, you mate. You two, take it down. Oh dear. Right. Looks like the lions are unwrapping their serviettes. Sorry, Mr. Purvis. It's too late. Well, well we can't do any more work without any cash, can we? Richard has well and truly shafted one. So what are you going to do? Me? I'm going to talk to the bastard. Joe. Joe. Wow. Is this it? Take a wild guess, Trevor. He's not in. Come on, let's go. In a minute. Hey, hey, careful. He's probably got state-of-the-art security in that. I doubt it. Why? Well, not much point if you're going to leave the key on the mat, is it? Well, that's just asking for trouble, that is. I mean, anyone could walk in. Just walk in? Just. Joe, Joe, not Joe. I just want to see where she used to live. In 1348, a bloke called Giovanni de Dondi made a clock representing the sun, the moon, and the five known planets. I read that in the papers this morning. Is that it? I'm lost. So am I. That's the point. 700 years on, I can't tell you what day it is. Listen, George, you're not good. We've had a bad run of luck. Trevor, we've had everything bar the seven-year famine and a plague of locusts, man. Anyway, it's not the job, it's her. Can't eat. Can't sleep. Smell the perfume on the plans this morning. Just faintly, but it was there. I'm gone bananas, and all she wants is him. She doesn't. She's down in London because he set her up. Well, they're welcome to each other. Yeah, yeah, calm down, Viv. I, I never said it'd be finished in a couple of weeks. Well, they didn't strike me as rip-off merchants. You can't blame me for that. Right. Sam, do you want to speak to your mum? I mean, he's not sulking, he's busy. Happy as a lark, honestly. Yeah, Pippa's fine about looking after him. Yeah, uh, sorry, you're breaking up. I'll ring you from Germany. Bye. Bloody Mopars. 
Sam, I'll be back before you know it. Look after yourself, son. Thanks. See you. That's all we bloody need. I hear there's been a bit of a hiatus. Debt's all over town. Well, if you want to borrow some money. <laughs> no, we'll be fine, thanks. Nothing for you to worry your shitty little head about. Why don't you just go home? You're out of your league. You always have been. Sugar in his petrol tank? Write his telephone number on a public toilet? No. I want to make him look really foolish in front of his lads. Get him to convert to school, then chuckle him before it makes any profit. That's pretty foolish. So what do you think of your dad's place, then? I hate it. So does Mum. She calls it the Ice Palace. She says it gives her the shivers. The Ice Palace? Ice Palace. You'll be upset about the scuba diving, eh? No. Well, I'm sure there's good enough reason, Sam. Your dad is a very busy bloke, you know. Why do you always stick up for him? Well, when it comes to being a crab dad, I'm in no position to talk. Ha! Hurley up! He calls you an oik. An oik, does he? He says you're ten a penny, you and Trevor. Oh, well, he might just be right there. Are you scared of him? No. Ha! Hit. Yes. Then you should beat him up and marry Mum, then. Marry? Oh, huh. Oh, mind games. That's your tactics. <sighs> Good basket. <laughs> Why don't you? Well, Sam, there are times for fighting. There's also times to stand back. Take a deep breath. Just walk away. Joe! Joe! I think she'd never have got this far, Mr Purvis. Look, between you and me, you made some very powerful enemies in this town. What does it say? It says they can impound our possessions, Trevor. But what it really says is people like Nick Costello and Richard, they don't want us here. And they're willing to play rough. Yeah, but this isn't playing, Trevor. This is war. Dream? No, it's real. I don't like it. Hey, hey! Nearly had me nose off there. Well, if you're going to complain, then you can bugger off the old lass's boat. Right, you two shave. I'll show it. It's not water. It's fine. It's not a problem. Seems a bit more cheery. I oh, know. It's what really worries me. We're going on the offensive. Can't beat it. Foxtrot Alfa Romeo Tango, the target has reached the combat zone. Pack it in. You didn't do the noise. This isn't a game, Trev. Now, Claire said he always eats at the bar. So we'll just give him a couple of minutes, shall we? Let's let him sit down, get comfortable. 
The sting is imminent. Confirm the sting is imminent. Yeah, okay. See you later. He's going in. Right then. Oh, this is fantastic, Trevor. Could be worth a fortune. But we're not painters and decorators. Stop talking like an old woman's in the bag. I mean, he works for the big hotel chains. One nod from him, we could be millionaires. If he likes us. How much are we going to quote him? That seems very low. You reckon? Well, he's loaded. Add another couple of grand on at least. Really? That's my instinct. Well, let's go with it, Trevor. It's got us this far. I tell you, Trevor, this could save our lives. Phew. Let's go. Possible to talk to uh, Mr. William Sykes, please. Yes. You see, that's the problem with a mob like the Purvis Brothers. Is well, a rabble really. They always charge a fortune. Too many chiefs, not enough Indians. Whereas my boys, they uh, they do exactly as I say. I've got a magic word for you. Hey, right, what's that? Psychodelia. It's the wife's idea originally, but I wanted to surprise her with it. Hmm. Say no more. What do you think? Bold, eh? It certainly is. But can you handle it? Well, it's a big job. You need a few extra lads to get it done on time. Is that a problem? I can have a hand-picked squad here today. Phone call away. But you'll be in charge? Yeah, of course. <laughs> from your mum? How's London treating her? She's really pissed off with Dad. Hey! Language. They had another huge row on the phone. Then you're still not gonna do anything. Watch this space. No chance this is a wind up. What'd you take me for? Would you get cracking? It's great. Fantastic. I can't wait to see his face. <laughs> you know he's gonna go through the roof, don't you? Good. I hope he gets so mad he bursts a blood vessel, even though he is your brother. I think you'll find you're the one who's mad. Mad as in Hatter, or mad as in dangerously unpredictable with a wild streak of untamed sexual energy. <laughs> oh, the latter, naturally. I should think so. I thought I could uh, show you some of the shots that we've uh, that we've taken of what we've done so far. Uh, I could come to your office in the morning. My office? Well, why don't I meet you around the house? No, no, don't worry. I'd uh, I'd rather let the lads get on with it. Actually, I, I can easily pop in and see you. Well, if you're going to be in town, I could come round to Costello's. Well, <laughs> what is there a problem in coming to your office? No, not at all. Here's my address. Got a pen? Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. 
Look forward to it. Bye. Well, that's buggered it. Nick's on to us. He'll turn up at Tom's office and Tom will blow the gaff. Tom's never there. <laughs> morning, Albert. Uh, morning, mister. It's far, sir. Hi, Albert. Uh, remind me where Tom Shaw's office is again, please. I always get lost in here. Uh, second floor, turn right. Uh, Mr... Um... Me, Mr Newman. Uh, 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 Mr Sykes. Uh, He's uh, representing uh, Mr Lawrence. Yeah, well, hang on a minute. Oh, oh. I'll be out of here in a second. Oh, that's a pity. I was hoping I could ask you about, um... Oh, never mind. You'll live with us. What? It's just... Lizzie's got this mad idea about planting a tree in the garden. A tree? So? Well, it's right outside your bedroom window. Oh, you should see what she wants us to do with the hole. What? This is Mission Control. All clear out here. No sign of Nick yet. That's a 10 for Mission Control. Roger, Mission Control. I'm going in. I repeat, I'm going in. Audrey? Yes? I'll work upstairs. Tom's been on the phone in a panic. Left this behind in my office. He's got a memory like a sieve. And he's asked me to ask you to take it round to him. By hand? Yeah, well, I offered, but he said because of legal reasons, had to be somebody from the firm, um, something to do with confidentiality. Won't tell anyone, will you? Uh, this is the address to uh, take it to. That figures. And you to take a break anyway. You said you were a gem. What did you say your name was? Barry. We're in. Roger. Well, like all this, if this gets any higher, then you're going to be blocking your flow of energies into the garden. Uh, energy? Yeah, you know, like uh, mirrors on walls and water and the eastern ah, thing. Venturi. Hey, I'm a black belt, mate. Uh, I doubt it somehow. No, but don't forget, we're builders. So, so like the um, masons and the uh, mysterious orient. Oh, it's all linked, you know. Look, I've got to go. Yeah. Uh, aye, okay. Shit, shit, shit. Joe, Nick's car's just pulled up. Don't panic, Trevor. Don't panic. Shit. Ah, <laughs> oh, Nick, I just popped out for a coffee this way. All right, Albert. Fine, Mr. Sykes. Like you said, a simple paint job. <laughs> Should be thrilled. As a matter of fact, there is something else, as well as the painting. I don't know if you can handle it. I've got another magic word for you. Oh, yeah. Like psychedelia. Is it pop art? Action paintings? Patio. Oh, no. <laughs> that kitchen will never be finished. Well, look, I was passing and I thought I'd pop in for a chat. It's a bit delicate. It's about my son, uh, Daniel, the whole custody thing. Warm, isn't it? It's a massive area. A Yorkstone, 500 square yards. It's one of the best part of 20 grand. Well, money's no object, as long as it can be done ASAP. Oh, I need an advance. Take a check. Not usually. Worth a try, eh?
regards to custody, you'll have to talk to someone who understands the Canadian system. I can give you a name, Ian O'Shea. Lovely man. Personal friend of mine, fantastic lawyer. The best you can get. Here you go. Ian O'Shea. Is everything OK, Trevor? It's fine. Uh, yeah. Actually, I think it is. There you go. Well, I'd just like to say congratulations to everybody, and I'd like to propose a toast. We may be broke, we may be homeless, but we are never down. Sweet revenge. Sweet, Sweet revenge. revenge. Oh, what's this? Did you get Joe, Mr. Purvis? No reply. I've tried half a dozen times. Just leave it. You've done me proud and you're quick too. Uh, that's a trick in this game. You've got to be in and out before the other fella knows what's hit him, you know? <laughs> Darling, mm. thanks for meeting me. Looking gorgeous as usual. It's really good of you. We didn't rush you. No, no, no. Great excuse to get back early. Germany was deadly dull. And now I get to spend some quality time with my son. Can we pick him up on the way? Of course. I can't wait to see the house. This is Chris, our photographer. Hello. Hi, Chris. Hi. Yes, I think you're going to be very excited. It was a complete wreck when I bought the place. It's taken me over ten years to get it how I want it. What, what the hell's that lorry doing in my drive? What else going on? Bloody rupture, that's what's going on. Bloody earlier too, if we're not careful. Sorry? Winterton Avenue, see? Anyone can see that. Yeah, well, uh... yeah, well that's the point, you see. According to head office, it's Winterson Drive, isn't it? Well, what is it? Where this lot should be. Winterson Drive me round my bloody bend. Not his day, poor chap. I wanted to restore it to its original design, down to the last detail. Perfect concept for the utilitarian way of life. Connell placed the living room in the southeast corner. Say anything. No one will ever know. What's happened? Oh, hi, Mum. Hello, darling. Oh. <laughs> you knew that London job was a poison chalice from the start. I should have known. I told you the brief was flexible. Will you dog Sam with Pippa? This ice palace means more to you than your son. It's not on Richard. Look, is there any chance you could cut me that teensiest bit of slack here? Oh. You may not have noticed, but I have problems too, you know. <sighs> have we got many enemies then, sir? <laughs> this is a bit risky. We'll only have a look if there's nobody there. This'll be one of our fonder memories of Brighton, Trev. Do you not want to see it? Yeah. Good. Then relax. <laughs> What's going on? You've been had, mate. <laughs> I knew this was a wind-up. <laughs> Leave it. Shit. What? 
Reverse. Don't let them see you, just hide. So you reckon the purposes? Oh, that is ridiculous. Now, who the hell else would dare do it? But I want them, Terry. Paid good money for that stone that made me look a prat. I still think this is professional sabotage. Aimed at my reputation. Can't you see that? Sorry, I'm a DIY man myself. So they actually used your office? Apparently. According to the police, they were very professional. Ah, yeah, well, you don't stand a chance against a crack squad like. Cheeky buggers there. They must have known that you wouldn't be there. Mm. They might have been watching me for all I know. A bit elaborate for a practical joke, isn't it? Mm. Mm. The police seem more concerned about the counterfeit money. And 20 grand's worth of York stone that's gone missing. Nice. Yes. Look, I didn't know Bill passed funny money to Nick. I thought he was just a con man. And he was your cellmate, Trevor. Your buddy. 20 grand's worth of stone and where are compasses? Hey, when Daniel goes to Canada, they won't let me in with a record. Did you take a CD? Hey. Look, they don't know we set it up. Two builders with Geordie accents. Well, I'll do the identity parade, confuse them. Hey, stop panicking. They can't prove anything. Now nah, we're home and dry. So, what is this? Fleeting visit? More than that. Can we talk later? Definitely. So, basically, the job was a nightmare. I lost my temper and told them so. No, you, Temper. No. So, um, I'm back, if that's all right with everyone. Fine by me. I think it's a very wise move, Sam. Cool. Hmm? Well, don't get all excited. I'm sure we can find a way to celebrate. No, oh, how's Richard? A bit upset. Oh. I wanted you to stay on. Somebody did a spot of free decorating while he was away. If we should find out who they are, get them round here, we could do with a hand. Would you like a chocolate finger? No, thanks. You're saying there's nothing the law can do? I'm saying there is no evidence, no actual evidence, to link them to the paint job. And if there was, it's hardly the crime of the century making you look a prat, is it? Yeah, well, what about the stone? No, I'm not making a complaint. Very wise, Nick. Though it is only increased this sort of theft. Funnily enough, somebody ripped off a builder's merchant in Tunbridge Wells yeah, all right. for an identical amount of stone only a few hours before. You've made your point. And we heard he sold it on as a job lot. Yes, yes, yes. Wise, Nick. See ya. Yes, I'm going to pursue this to the bitter end. Yeah, don't you worry. So am I. <laughs> Never a dull moment. Come on, you bastard! Get out here! Now! Oh, hey, Nick! Hey, you want to touch that up? Got a little pot of gloss somewhere to do champion for. You cheeky sod! Hey. Hey, you'll break that. Shut up! Joe, the funny man keeps hitting our bin lid. I'm sick of you two. All right, so I paint his house. Yeah, right. shut up! And that would have been witty, frankly. But the stone was taking the piss. I mean, that stuff is worth 20 grand on the open market. Well, well, I'm sure you got it cheaper, but still, that's a nasty hole, isn't it? Nobody takes the piss out of me! 
time to settle up. Oh, yeah. I'll handle Nick, you take Richard. Well, looks, I want Nick. Richard's only dangerous if he shits himself. Herb is special? Deal. Mm -hmm. Come on, then. Oh, I've been waiting for this. After three? Yeah. One. Inside the teacher's office, is it? You break into my house, abuse my home, and you want me to forget about it? We didn't break in. We used a key. Well, at least Viv didn't give it to you. Viv had nothing to do with it. This is about me and you. Now, you said you were going to work for free, then you send me an invoice, and then you send round the bailiffs, and then they take away my home. It's a good job all I did was paint your friggin' walls. But let's leave Viv out of this. It's nothing to do with her. We both know that's not true. As for what happens next, well, it's in the hands of my lawyers. Sorted. Good. You set me up, your own brother! Nick, honestly... If I didn't have friends on the force, I could be looking at prison now! I mean, I know you resented me, but I didn't think you'd stoop this bloody low. I swear, I had nothing to do with it. Bollocks! You were all in it together. OK, what? OK, OK. What? So, the Dog and Partridge pub. How did they know that I ate my lunch there, eh? Eh? Cos you bloody told them, that's why! I never thought we'd do this again. Katrina will have a field day with the story. It'll spread like wildfire. Bitch. Ooh, I recognise that tone. I'll just go away. You see this? It was a joke. Remember them? We used to make them, only not often enough. Yeah, this is not a joke, and I refuse to treat it as such. I shall sue. <laughs> For what, exactly? For every penny I can get. This place will have to be returned to pristine condition for a start. Fine. Then I'll screw you on the divorce. What? You heard. See how marvellous your ice palace is when a judge asks you to cut it down the middle. I'm just not in the mood to talk. Am I just supposed to accept that? Come on, that's the good thing about this relationship. We talk. All right. Nick told me that you conned that money off him. That he knew all along, you and Joe. We didn't, I swear. It was all Bill. Well, you believe me, don't you? Claire? If you don't believe me, we've got a problem. Well, will you calm down? Just answer the question, will you? Is Claire wrong, or have I been conned by my own brother? Which is it? It's just Nick winding Claire. No, 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 forget about Nick. I'm talking about you. What you did. Is it your fault that I have just left that girl in tears? Probably, yes, probably, probably. Everything's usually my fault, Trevor. I mean, according to you, I'm responsible for, what, the two world wars and the murder of that Rasputin? Don't piss about. I'm being serious here. Now, just listen to me. Oh, I'm sick of listening to you, man. Wings, 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 wings. Change the tape, will you? I'm warning you. If you have risked my happiness with Claire, I'll tear you apart. Joe? You're an untrustworthy bastard. What do you mean? You should have been here ten minutes ago.
So? All went as sweet as a nut. My client was delighted with this stone and paid up in cash. Real cash this time. I just want to say thanks. With my whack, I can set myself up again. Oh, well, that's our loss, Bill. You should join me. You're a natural. You could be a full-time con man any day. <laughs> Don't tempt me. So you got the money from somewhere to call off the bailiffs? Yeah, well, everybody just calmed down, you know, temporarily. It's gonna look fantastic, Viv. Mm. But will anybody buy it? Well, they might when they see. Mm. What? Come on. Come on. <laughs> Not bad, eh? It's amazing. It's the first thing you wanted, remember? A garden between the two roofs, yeah. You're full of surprises, aren't you? Uh-huh. <laughs> well, sometimes they're the wrong kind of surprises. Richard's house. <laughs> you should have seen his face. It was such a cheeky thing to do. Very funny. Very sexy. <sighs> but that's not why I'm here. I came back to tell you something. After Richard and I broke up, I pretended everything was fine. It was only when I met you I realized how hurt I was. And I was worried that was gonna happen again. I, I was scared and... But I'm not scared anymore. So, if you still want me, I want to give us a go. What do you think? I want. Yes. Maybe the love boat spun the leak. <laughs> you see, Bill? Yes. Your shit. When are you going to tell him? Hmm? Oh, when he wakes up. Be a nice surprise for him in the morning. My John boy. Piss off, Simon. 